the forehead of your robot. On the 28th of May 2004, children were fresh out of school and on summer break. Many of the said children were watching Nickelodeon, when a network intrusion was detected at 8.36 p.m., Coordinated Universal Time, at Nickelodeon headquarters. The events which transpired in said hijacking were never caught on any publicly owned VCR recordings, except for one known example, kept tightly secured in an unknown top-secret FBI archive. It is mentioned in released FBI reports that many children committed suicide on the spot upon the hijacking's conclusion, a small percentage entered a traumatic catatonic state, and some surviving viewers of the incident went on to end their lives decades later. The few survivors that still live have mostly repressed the events that transpired that evening in 2004, and if they do, it's not much. All that is known is that the hijacking led to the airing of a lost episode of Spongebob, simply titled, The Starving. The perpetrator of the hijacking was never identified, but it is suspected that a disgruntled ex-employee was behind the event. That was taken from a transcript of LostEpisodes.com, where users found a Spongebob Lost episode. The name of the lost episode is, The Starving. Upon viewing, it starts with the title card, along with no credits. It then transitions to Squidward's house, there was no visible dialogue, only images and jump scares. Squidward was seen saying. What you're about to hear is entirely Squidward's dialogue. Boy. I am starving. Holy Neptune. I haven't been this hungry in my miserable life. No use in complaining at this point. Might as well pass the time rehearsing. Oh what the crap. This has Spongebob written all over it. This is low even for him. Oh well, I'll yell at him later. Time to play. At this point, you'd hear Spongebob say, Hey Squidward! Squidward then says, Out for the lava. What? Nothing! Spongebob said. Leave me alone, and don't ever come in again! Squidward shouted, and then said, Oh Neptune, I'm so hungry! It's driving me nuts! What's going on? Oh, I'm losing consciousness! By this point, this is where things get unsettling. When Squidward woke up, he's in the middle of darkness with Mr. Krabs shown. Mr. Krabs only said, You're starving us, boy! You must eat! Eat them! Eat them all! You will die otherwise! Finally, Squidward acknowledges he needs to eat. This blue figure is what people see replacing Squidward's face. At this point, Squidward isn't Squidward anymore. By this point, people called him, the Starver. It shows the blue exterior of SpongeBob's house and Squidward's own house, now consumed with gluttony to eat. As SpongeBob wakes up, he's suddenly taken by Squidward. As the cockfish says, Dear Neptune! The infamous jump scare is shown, Squidward's face is distorted, eating Spongebob with a distorted buzzing noise, ending the episode with an FBI warning. After this, a YouTube user uploaded the entire episode on July 3rd of 2023, citing the website. It was theorized the episode was found in an abandoned store that used to be a location for Walmart. Who knows the original findings of the episode, all we know is that the internet is making Spongebob disturbing.